Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel as we are working our way through the series of the Divine Masculine throughout the Zodiac signs. So in this reading we are dealing with the sign of Capricorn. So if you have a Divine Masculine in your life that is a Capricorn, okay? So you could be a female Scorpio dealing with a Capricorn or you could be a male Scorpio in a same-sex relationship with a Divine Masculine Capricorn, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the reading. Gonna go ahead, roll the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to today. We've got the power of number seven. The number 10 and the number four okay if you are dealing with the divine masculine Capricorn they could have been born on January 1st January 4th possibly January 7th they could have been born in 1971 or 1974 they could be 41 years of age or 47 years old for some of them okay uh, that's not to say that uh, you're not dealing with a, um, a Capricorn that was born at the latter part of December. Some of you are, okay? So that's just what is coming up in the power of the numbers. Also, too, when we add that 4 to the 71, because I took the 1 out of the 10, added it to the 7, brings us to the number 75. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn that was born in 1975 as well, okay? They could have been born on the 17th or the 14th or the 15th of January as well, okay? So we're going to go to the power of number 75 for the Divine Masculine Capricorn, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, and 75, calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers in regards to this divine masculine Capricorn. And so it is. Trusted ancestors, what does this divine masculine Capricorn want to say to their Scorpio divine counterpart, please? Oh my God. The Fool card. Well, they want to have a brand new beginning with you, Scorpio. Or they want to take a leap of faith, but take a leap of faith into what? In regards to your relationship connection dynamic with them. They could have made some foolish choices or foolish decisions in the past. They could have been all about themselves at one point in the relationship connection. Okay. Some of you, if you have not heard from your Divine Masculine Capricorn, it could very well be that you may possibly hear from them today. Why would I say that? Because the Fool card is represented by the number zero. Zero represents today. So Carpe Diem sees the day. So they're in the Fool mode. This Divine Masculine Capricorn is in the Fool mode. And what do they want to take a leap of faith towards in regards to you, Scorpio? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow, the chariot. Power of number seven. We had number seven on the roll of the dice. Mm. It could be Scorpio that your divine masculine Capricorn wants to race and charge ahead for victory here with you. Or it could mean about travel. Some of you could be at a great distance from your divine masculine Capricorn. They may want to travel to come and see you, or you want to travel to go see them, Scorpio. We'll see what the chariot card is bringing in, because this is showing me that the roads to this connection between you and your Divine Masculine Capricorn is that the roads are going to be open and clear. But why? Why? What would be propelling this energy forward? Okay. So, chariot card, very powerful. Okay. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Some of them have guilt, remorse, regret over the past. It could be that they're wanting to have a reconciliation here with you or a coming together because the two cups are behind this person. So they could have made some, again, for certain divine masculine Capricorns towards you, Scorpio. They could have done something very foolish in the past. Some of them want to brush certain things under the rug, but in regards to you, Scorpio, that's just not good enough. So in certain situations with your divine masculine capricorn i'm seeing like the eight of pentacles coming up in my mind's eye some of these divine masculine capricorns are going to have to earn and win your trust back we'll see why why do some of these divine masculine capricorns have guilt remorse regret are they sad are they sad that they can't come to travel to see you or are you feeling this way scorpio maybe you're just feeling down and out not being with your Capricorn. Could be. Could be. Let's see what else is going on here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Trusted Ancestors, why is this Divine Masculine Capricorn in the fool mode right now towards Scorpio? Ha! Their true card came up, the devil card, represented by the sign of Capricorn. Some of them just cannot let go of you, Scorpio. And there could have been situations in the past where this Divine Masculine Capricorn was chained and bound to possible third-party situations, things that were getting in the way. They feel sexually connected to you, Scorpio. Maybe they didn't want to see you be with anybody else. Could be. Could be. Could be that they don't want to let go of you. Message from the chariot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Some of them have been in confusion, delusional energy. So if the chariot is coming forward for victory, then they're getting out of some murkiness. Okay? Or... Getting away from third-party situations or snakes in the grass, too many people, too many places, options, etc. Maybe your Divine Masculine Capricorn kept you as an option, Scorpio. Could be. Or you might have kept your Capricorn as an option. It could be that also, too, that this Divine Masculine Capricorn wants to get away from any form of toxicities or stress. Even the Seven of Cups could bring on stress. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician card represented by the number one. So wanting to have a new beginning here and or possibly want to manifest you back into their life, Scorpio, or maybe you're the one that's manifesting your Capricorn to come towards you. We did have the power of number 10, but we took that number one and added it to the seven. Okay, so <clears throat> one would be in representation of the magician. 
Some of you guys could be doing energy work or working with the spiritualist in order to draw your person towards you. One, two, three, four, five. Why does this Capricorn have guilt, remorse, regret, trusted ancestors? Wow. There you are, my beautiful feminine, divine feminine Scorpio women out there and men too. Okay. They have guilt, remorse, regret. Maybe how they treated you before in the past. Maybe they kept you as an option. Maybe they had at one time ran away from the connection between you and them. Maybe they left a long-term partnership that you had with them unexpectedly. Could be. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. This Capricorn, this divine masculine Capricorn, when I start to shuffle and the cards get a little quirky or wonky, there's some nervous energy that I'm picking up off of this divine masculine Capricorn. Why can't they let go of you, Scorpio? Because guess what? You're a superstar in their eye. Some of you might even have blonde hair. Could be. It could be also, too, that this Divine Masculine Capricorn is also going to reach out to you. We are still technically in Aquarius season for a few more days. They might have even thought, too, at one time, Scorpio, that you, in their mind, you could have just been too good to be true. Well, what can we say? The Scorpio energy is very intense, right? Yeah. Or it could be that either you, Scorpio, or your Divine Masculine Capricorn is basically wishing on a star right now for manifestation. And it could also be, too, that certain Divine Masculine Capricorns are wanting some form of a reconciliation because reconciliation can also come through the star card. Who or what created this Seven of Cups Confusion, delusional energy between Scorpio and the Divine Masculine Capricorn, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there could have been a Piscean energy that was getting in the way, possibly, that kept this relationship in some form of flux or suspension. Now, if some of you guys are at a physical distance from your Divine Masculine Capricorn, a lot of it obviously could have to do with the global pandemic, okay, which has delayed travel arrangements because the chariot card is about traveling, okay? So this chariot energy is dominating over confusion. Maybe there were plans to meet up with your Divine Masculine Capricorn, but things came to a sudden halt. Everything became in suspension. Now there could be some confusion about, you know, or has been confusion, I should say, uh, in the past during 2020 that put things at a standstill. Okay, as far as travel arrangements are concerned for some of you guys in long distance relationships. Message from the Queen of Cups, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, somebody here can't stop sexually thinking about you, and they also do want a brand new beginning because those two cups. If they got some kind of guilt, remorse, regret over the past, they want to reconcile. And some of them, even if they decided that they didn't want to be with you or they projected forward that, you know, if there was a breakup in the relationship between you and your Divine Masculine Capricorn or third-party situations, they have so much regret over this. Some of them may be coming to you, Scorpio, within one week's time. Just be prepared either way, okay? This Divine Masculine Capricorn, I feel, is holding back a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions, because the only um, 
there's technically three cup cards. We have the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Queen of Cups can bring in true love situation. There could also be stress, worry, and anxiety going on right now because maybe you can't come together just yet with your Divine Masculine Capricorn, okay? So I am feeling it's either an emotional distance right now or this Capricorn doesn't have a wide emotional range, but their energy is fairly solid, okay? But they're having some of these Divine Masculine Capricorns. I cannot get past this energy of the Five of Cups. I think they're harboring for some of them a lot of internal emotional pain that they're not willing to express or have not been expressive, but yet they see, they see you in truth. In truth, they see you as the superstar. You are the shining star, Scorpio, in their eye. Message from the star card in regards to this uh, Divine Masculine Capricorn, Trusted Ancestors, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 14, Some of them may be trying to find the courage and the strength to speak up and or it could be there could be travel coming up this year, either maybe in the month of July, possibly August. For some of you in long distance situations. Or they look at you because they see you as the shining star in their eye. That you have a lot of strength, a lot of courage and very com very confident. That's what I'm picking up. They want to have a brand new beginning. I'm hearing the song um, from Bill Withers, Lovely Day. Trusted Ancestors, how is this energy through the sign of Pisces of being in flux with the hanged man situation? Things that have been in suspension. What is the solution right now to get out of flux? What would Scorpio or their Divine Masculine Capricorn have to do in order to either travel to come and see somebody here or to have some kind of victory so that this reconciliation can come forward <clears throat> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay divine intervention is coming in see somebody feels stuck Somebody feels trapped because they can't move forward. They feel like they can't move forward into victory. But the divine is coming in to say, wake up, wake up, it's coming. Okay, the roads are going to be open. The roads are going to be clear. Okay. You could have even tried to in the past, Scorpio. Maybe your divine masculine Capricorn was very stubborn with you. And maybe you were the one that was trying to convince them and say, hey, you know what? Look, we're supposed to be together. We're meant to be together. But they didn't want to pay attention to the red flags in certain situations here. But when it comes to victory, divine intervention is trying to help you guys get out of a suspension here so that things can start moving forward. Could happen in the next four months. Cups can represent either hours days and or months it might take up to the month of april where travel arrangements might actually be a little bit more in the clear there's definitely a strong energetic pull for july and august if you have to go travel to see somebody here okay message from the ace of wands one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11. Yeah, as I said before, they were holding back a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions. This Divine Masculine Capricorn, their emotions run deep. They just don't know how to be overly expressive. 
they might have been raised a particular way to hold back their feelings. Yeah, my dog is barking, so it's like confirmation. Maybe because they had to be, you know, either a breadwinner, maybe they were taking care of other family members. I feel like the energy between you and your Divine Masculine Capricorn has been really stretched thin. Very stretched thin. So they've held back. But at the same time, they can't let go of you, Scorpio. Look it. They want to have a new beginning. Here's you. They cannot let go of you. And I also do feel, too, that if you do choose to completely move on from your Divine Masculine Capricorn for whatever reason, they're not going to let go of the memory of you. You're too unforgettable. You're unforgettable, Scorpio. Or even if they choose to move on, they're not going to forget. <laughs> they're not going to forget about you. But there's some form of a coming together that does want to happen here. And some of you, again, are waiting for travel arrangements. For forward movement. So there is, right now, a waiting process. In certain situations, if you were in a long-term partnership or were married to this Divine Masculine Capricorn... Some of them could have basically got out of Dodge. Maybe they left the city. Maybe they left the country. Maybe um, they left their local environment to move somewhere else. Or maybe you had to move, Scorpio, away from your Divine Masculine in certain situations. But they can't let go of you, not once but twice. The Devil card and the Four of Pentacles. I think this Capricorn, a lot of these Divine Masculine Capricorns, they're really internally battling with themselves. This is what I'm picking up. And some of them have allowed too many distractions to elude them, to have them make also too poor choices in the past. But yet some of them here want to take this major leap of faith. And some are just, again, they're just waiting they're just waiting for travel to open up for some of you. Some of you could be talking on the internet. Here's the Prince of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This could be about spying activity. They could be checking out your social media page, Scorpio, or you're checking out your Divine Masculine's social media page platform. Could be. Some of you guys blocked your Divine Masculine Capricorn for some of you. Message from Strength. One, two, three, four, five, six. This Divine Masculine Capricorn is your soulmate. Six of Cups. You feel like you could have known this person many lifetimes, Scorpio. There is, some of you could have known your person for six years, eight years, could have been with them for 17 years, 15 years. You could have recently just met your Divine Masculine Capricorn. You could have been with them for seven months, seven years, 12 days, 12 years, 12 months, one year, uh, four months, Four years. You could have met them one week ago. Maybe some of these Divine Masculine Capricorns ghosted you, Scorpio. But somebody here wants to return and or come together here to reconcile. And you could be battling your own feelings and emotions right now, Scorpio, in certain situations with your Capricorn. Message from the Six of Cups. One, two, three, four, five, six. How would this Divine Masculine Capricorn return? Have faith, have patience that everything is going to work out. They want to have an ebb and flow here. There is manifestation that is going on. Some of you are subconsciously manifesting your Capricorn to come back or bring an apology and or travel to you or you go travel to see them. Patience is greatly needed right now. Message from the King of Pentacles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
12, 13, 14. Yeah, they could be reaching out with you on social media or they're gearing up to reach out. They could be spying in on your activity, Scorpio, if you haven't talked to them in a while. Message from Temperance, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And remember something, too. When Temperance shows its face, go with the flow. That's all you got to do. Go with the flow. Go with the flow of energy because there will be a breakthrough here. Message from Temperance. What did I say about the Eight of Pentacles? They're gonna, some of these Divine Masculine Capricorns are going to come back. They're going to return. And they're going to try to win you over again, Scorpio. And maybe some of you Scorpios have moved on to a new person. And maybe they're catching tailwind of it. Or they're going to find out later on. It might take them up to eight months to find out that you could be seeing somebody. And I think that there could end up being some jealousy. Even if this Capricorn has moved on from you or you had to move on from them. But somebody here is going to earn back somebody's trust and work ten times harder. Not eight times, ten times harder. Message from the Prince of Swords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, like I said... Some of you guys could have had, had to walk away from your Capricorn or your Capricorn walked away from you in certain situations. They're also spying in on you, Scorpio, in, in, again, certain situations to see if you moved on from them or if you are dealing with somebody else. Okay? So when somebody's in the Eight of Cups mode, that means somebody's looking for their Ten of Cups. Or... If your Divine Masculine Capricorn is involved with a third-party situation, then it could be that they're gearing up to walk away from whatever has held them back because, again, we got dirty bird activity. This could be family members. This could be friends. It could be bromances, girlfriends, whatever, toxic job situations. They're wanting to have a new beginning here because the base foundation support of the Queen of Cups, again, is the Ace of Wands. But they're holding, they're holding back this new beginning. And it could also be too. Let's just say, for example, you are in a relationship with your Divine Masculine Capricorn. You guys are talking and everything. They could be a little fearful. Especially if you guys are at a distance and travel arrangements have not quite come through just yet. They could be worried that you're going to walk away. That you're going to walk away from the connection. Or your Divine Masculine Capricorn feels this way towards you or you feel this way towards them. Show me the Eight of Cups energy, trusted ancestors, in regards to Divine Masculine Capricorn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The Moon card. Like I said, they hold back a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions. I have never really, like, I have dealt more with readings with female Capricorns versus male Capricorns. Completely, totally different opposite energy. I find that the female Capricorns are more expressive than the male ones. Okay. That's just through my experience. But they held back. They could have held back some secrets. Maybe it's just their feelings. I think it's their feelings because I don't have a lot of cup energy. It's like they hold back. Maybe they're beating themselves up in the five of cups mode because maybe they felt like they should be expressive or they weren't expressive enough towards you, Scorpio. Message from the moon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, behind the scenes right now, this divine masculine Capricorn could be trying to get out of some kind of burdensome situation 
before they can make their way forward or they've learned some karmic lessons, karmic cycles. On the bottom of the deck, there's some kind of a love message or a love offer. So here's emotion coming in after they've been holding emotion back from you, Scorpio. Okay, so there's some of them are going to be returning to reconcile. Others of you guys are waiting for travel arrangements. And some have guilt, remorse, regret for making foolish decisions in the past and they want to come back around the bend again. Because what I say to that, I think they feel that you were the best thing that they ever had. Because why, babe? Scorpios, you're the star. Indeed you are. So, thank you so much, Scorpio, for the love and support in my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Until next time, Scorpio, take care.